Hi everyone, I am I am Hey, and I'm here on YouTube today for about 11 or 12 months. I know there's no people who wait for my video, but to update for myself what's happening these days as an artist and a photographer. The first and foremost news is that my book has been selected for the Dummy Award 2024 shortlist. Yay! If you're a photographer or a person who is in art scene, you would already know what is the Dummy Award, which is also known as Castle Dummy Book Award, one of the most famous dummy book awards in the world. For your information, dummy book means unpublished book, especially photographers independently handmade books in this case. And this competition is held every year by the Photo Book Museum in Cologne, Germany. I never expect I could be one who goes for the shortlist because my career as a photographer is too short, I think. And also, I don't have a lot of prepared artworks yet. However, I just applied every big name awards that I know in this year to practice how to apply and submit and experience what's going on in this international photographic scene. So I sent my three individual photo books to the Dummy Award. One is my birthday brother's book, the project which I photographed on 2022 and made me later invited to Car Arts Photography MFA 2-3. And it was my best expectation, but it rejected. And another is my Pigeon Phobia newspaper, titled the Pigeon Post. As you can see on the title, the format of the book is borrowed from the New York Post. I not only photographed city pigeons, but also collected images and texts about pigeons online. For example, I watched Hitchcock's The Birds again and captured the scene that the hearing attacked by pigeons. To explain how I got an ornithophobia, particularly pigeon phobia. This book was also rejected, but it is now invited a group exhibition titled New Bodies, No Bodies, and now displayed in King Street Gallery, Montgomery College, Maryland, US. Finally, I can show you the book which made the photo book museum glad. Surprisingly, it is a photo book which is made with Midjourney. Yes, that AI image generator program. I made this series on the last spring to summer. Yeah, right after I paused to upload YouTube videos. In that season, I was an auditor in my graduated university, and I need a physical output to finish a semester. You know, I am a photographer who is lack of photographic skills yet, so the photographs that I strived to make for a semester was not satisfied with myself. Then I met Mid Journey in that moment. At first, I just subscribed Mid Journey without a plan and just play with it. It was so lot of fun. It was cool that I can make image without camera. I know that many professional and traditional photographers and people in fine art scene do not like AI image. Actually, they hate it. But I didn't dive into the controversial things that much did. Think about the past when the camera and photography first appeared. Every artist do not admit photography as an art. Of course, if I am the one who has been painted for my whole life, I will not agree with photography as an art. The appearance of artificial intelligence technology in art scene recall the past when photography appeared. That's why I made an AI image series, and I want to gently suggest that we should utilize it smartly. You know, our lives were deluged by that AI wave. If you can bet him, join him. Based on these thoughts, I considered about which subject matter can get a meaning when it was created by AI. It must be something that I can't photograph in the real world. That was the point, and I finally reached to the topic, a swimming pool for artists. I want to imagine famous and sometimes already dead artists' private swimming pool 
and Midjourney's imagination is much better than my imagination on this topic. For days and nights, I prompted swimming pool for artists, and then collected more than a hundred images. After that, it gave me a conviction that the process is not that different from my photographic work process. Whether it was photographed by myself or just created by Midjourney, I had to collect, classify, and select image as an author. I had to make decisions to include or not, because I'm the decision holder who came up with this subject matter. In conclusion, I became fearless of upcoming AI era as an artist. The creativity is the hardest thing to replace by technology. Anyway, I finally made a book with these swimming pool images and also made a handmade bookcase which is made of ceramic tiles, clay, and silicon. I argued AI image can be your artwork, but also worried about what's my contribution on this project, like a kind of physical contribution. I stood one more night and made the bookcase, then I finished the semester. Soon after that, I got an opportunity to show my unprepared version of the book to the photographers fully fledged or embryo in my country. The program was 2023 Docking program, which is provided by one and only surviving photo publisher called Vostok Press and a center called What Really Matters, formerly Mapugu Design and Publish Support Center. I got so much useful critics at the program, but I failed to win the first place which gave an opportunity to publish. But it was a blessing in disguise. Coming to 2024, now I invited by the Photo Book Museum's Dummy Award, and my book will be shown to the globe's audience through the World Tour exhibitions. This was my one-year journey to make one series and get some opportunities inside and outside of my country. Of course, there is something more in the last year, like I bought my first Hasselblad, I became a magazine editor, and also rejected by Yale again, and blah blah blah. I hope one day I can say that everything on YouTube, but I'm so lazy. Actually, I'm not lazy. I work out every day, I make art every day, and I apply every day, but... Anyway, I will come back when I get happier news that I said today. Thank you. Bye bye.